Alia and welcome back to Cooking with Alia International Edition and of course I have a special guest for you, my friend Sabrina. Hi everyone. Sabrina, where are you from? I'm from France. France, but you are from, 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 from? Armenia originally. So your grandparents came from yes, Armenia? Yes, my grandparents moved from Armenia to France okay. many years ago. So what are we cooking today? Armenian so, or French food? Today we're cooking Armenian food because this is the kind of food that I grew up on. So this is my comfort food. Ooh, yum. How, I mean, I've never had Armenian food, so how would you describe Armenian food? Yeah, so not a lot of people are familiar with Armenia because it's a pretty small country, but it's close to Turkey, Lebanon, so the foods from there are very, very similar to Armenian food. It's like a fusion between yeah, Middle, so Middle Eastern? Eastern mostly. Oh, yum, I like Middle Eastern food. Very good. And we're making something special today, what did you call yeah, it? So today we are making dolma. So that's the Armenian name. So that's the funny part. Dolma is actually a dish that I'm familiar with uh, from the Middle East. I, I had it in the Middle East. Yes. Yeah. Yummy. Yeah. And there is many types of dolma. So okay. the type I'm making today is meat based and mm -hmm. it's a stuffed cabbage. Stuffed cabbage, that's nice. I like it. I've had it with different vegetables. Like yes. uh, zucchini and tomatoes, exactly. where like, you take the vegetable and stuff it, right? You put the stuffing inside the vegetables Oh, as well. yeah. How easy is this dish? Because we like easy It's recipes. actually very easy. There's very few ingredients and it's very difficult to mess up. So you will see just all the steps, it's extremely easy to So make. it's easy to make, difficult to mess up, she said, right? I promise. <laughs> so let's start. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to make the filling. Okay. So we start with chopping all the ingredients. Mm -hmm. So we have some parsley here. So you chop off the stems and you just want to chop this really finely. All right, so now that we, we're done with the parsley, uh, we're going to cut and uh, dice the onion very thinly. All right, so now it's pretty easy. Uh, we've done all the chopping. We just need to mix all the ingredients together in a bowl to make the filling. We have uh, about 500 grams of beef, or about one pound. Two thirds of a cup of rice. Um, so the parsley, that was about half a bunch. And the onion. And in addition to that, we're going to use a little bit of spice. A little salt, a little pepper, and then Paprika. Also some paprika, a bit of color. Yeah, that's right. it. spicy. Should be good. And then to kind of um, hold it together, we have a little bit of tomato sauce. Okay. That's just plain tomato sauce. All right. All right, so now all we need to do is mix well. Yum. Do we let this marinate or can we use it right no, away? No, you can use it right away. Okay, cool. So now we just have to prepare the... Cabbage? Yeah, outside, right? So we're gonna use cabbage leaves for that. Yum, and that's it. Wow, this is really easy. Okay, cool. Actually, I'm very interested to learn how to do this. Right, so we start with uh, cabbage. We're going to remove the core. Okay, and now we're just gonna take the uh, leaves out one by one. Ah, oh, so it's so nice. You can throw out the first leaf if it's, if it's uh, not a nice one. This one we throw it too? No, this one is good. All right, so since the leaves are a little bit big, uh, we're going to cut them in two along the vein. Oh, okay. And then we end up having two, two wrappers, pieces. two wrappers okay. per leaf. And do you use two wrappers for each wrap or only one? No, you just use one wrapper at a time. Oh, so you, this is going to double the dose? Exactly. Oh my God, check this out. <laughs> check how many leaves we have. This is going to be a lot of food tonight. Good. Okay, let's show me how to do that. Oh, so you cut the big vein. Yeah. You want to get rid of the vein because it's a little thick. Okay. And so it's not going to work as a wrapper. Ah, okay. So now you got two wrappers. Okay, so to finish preparing the leaves, we boil some water with some salt. So when the water boils, we're going to put in the leaves and boil them for five minutes. And this way they will be soft and easy to roll. Okay, so after five minutes, we can turn this off. As you can see, the leaves are soft and they can be rolled easily. So we can use them as wrappers. So now we're going to transfer the leaves into ice water so they stay fresh and don't overcook. Okay, now that the leaves are cooled down, we're going to drain them and transfer them to a dish just so that we can use them easily. Okay, so now is the part where we assemble uh, our dolma. We're going to roll the meat into the cabbage. Yum, that's the fun part. 
Okay, so we place um, the leaf. And then, and then we take about, yeah, maybe a spoonful, maybe a little bit less, like this. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep in mind that the rice will expand a little bit. Oh, the rice is going to cook. Okay, exactly. so do not overstuff. So what you do is you fold over once. Oh, that's beautiful. And then you want the sides to be sealed. So you do it like uh, this. Oh, that's like how we roll the briwet in Morocco, which or, is the spring rolls. Exactly, or if you are familiar with a burrito, that's exactly oh. the same. And then you just roll it all the way. Wow, that's beautiful. That's, that's really like a pretty wet. Exactly. Now we'll keep it face down when we put it in the pan. Oh, okay. So yeah. this part has to go like this. Exactly. Okay. We'll prepare them all. And as we do that, we're going to place them in the dish. Okay. Okay. So as you're rolling the dolma, mm -hmm. Uh, you need to start placing them in the pot one by one. So they hold each other, right? Because they open up? Exactly. And you need to place them uh, with the face down. Oh yeah, so like the last piece of the wrapper has to be down. Exactly, the edge right here needs to be in the bottom. This way um, it doesn't it open, open up during the cooking. Okay, so now we're done stuffing the dolma. We're going to place a plate upside down just to hold it down to make sure that they don't open during the cooking. Now I'm going to add water uh, about to the level of the dolma and we'll start boiling. So now that it's boiling, we're going to lower the heat from high to medium and cover partially. We still want a little bit of the water to evaporate. We're going to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's cooked through. Okay, so now it's been about 20 minutes the dolma are cooked through. What we're going to do is uh, drain the remaining water and then plate them. All right, so we just drained the water in the sink. Now we're going to remove the top plate and plate the dolma. Yay. Okay. So watch out because it's pretty hot. hot. Yeah. Ooh, does not look wow. good. Looks amazing. All right, now we'll take them out delicately one by one. Very fragile. Thank you. Oh my god, this looks amazing. Can you see this? This is just perfect. Okay, I'm going to taste one. You want sure. a fork? All right, let's do this. <laughs> so you have to be careful because they're really hot, right? It's still steaming hot. Yeah. Look at this. It's perfectly wrapped. When you cut it in the center, you have this beautiful filling of rice and meat. Get a close up. Check these out. The rice, the meat, the wrapping. They're just perfect. Okay. Let's try. Are you ready for this trial? Mmm. Mmm. So good. Mmm, you have like the crunchiness, a slight crunchiness of the wrapping mm -hmm. and then you can feel the meat and the parsley and we didn't make them too spicy so if you, if you, want, you like spices I guess you can exactly. add like you uh, could add things like cumin for cumin, example cumin, hot pepper, whatever spices you like right? a little bit of cayenne, oh, yeah. like a little spicy yeah. um, and actually the best way to prepare those is to make them the day before for the next day because they're even more flavorful the next day oh so you prepare them like today and then let yeah. them sit overnight yes and, and then the, heat them up the next day absolutely and wow. they're actually also good cold Cold yeah. for the summer. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It makes a good it makes a good appetizer as well. Oh yum. Well, now you have like an Armenian appetizer and main dish and snack and everything you need. <laughs> yeah, you could just eat that any time of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sabrina. Well, it's been a pleasure. Are you coming back? Oh of course. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to ask for you, so I asked before you guys ask. And this was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. So I hope you try it and send me your pictures and questions and comments on Facebook. Uh, we would love to see some Moroccan people or foreign people making Armenian food. That'd be really that fun. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be awesome. So send us your pictures. Bon appétit, everyone. Yeah, bon appétit. Bye. Bye.